welcome to RVing Today TV. Even with fuel costs up, you can still enjoy a fantastic RV and camping adventure without breaking the bank. You'll be surprised how many fun destinations are less than a tank away, as Michelle Fontaine shows us. If you're looking to upgrade your RV interior, you have a couple of choices. One, you can do the work yourself or have an interior design company do it for you. To see just what's involved in an interior upgrade project, Jeff Johnston paid a visit to Dave and LJ's RV interior design in Woodland, Washington to find out for himself. Then, on pause on board, Mark and Don Polk from RV Education 101 are not only veteran RV experts, but also devoted pet lovers who take their dogs along with them virtually everywhere they travel. Today, they share with us what they do and what other RV owners should know before hitting the road with your pets. Then later, Jeff Johnston and Chris Hemmer from RV Enthusiast Magazine check out some unique cooking and camping gear at a recent outdoor adventure camping show. These stories and more on this week's RVing Today TV. Closed and Spanish captioning where available is sponsored by Forest River. Follow the river. Now, let's join Michelle as she travels less than a tank away from her summer home in Massachusetts. Today, we're doing a less than a tank away story for you. We're exploring how to inexpensively enjoy a day or two at a simple New England campground. <laughs> we stayed at Lamb City Campground in Phillipson, Mass. Two nights, full hookup for $97. You could also stay free at a Harvest House location, which we'll show you in a bit. We start at the Red Apple Farm, less than 20 minutes from our campground. My cousin Sharon joined us. And there looks like a ton of things yeah. to do here, right? Yeah, great. Look at the goat on the hill. I see a sign, Laurie. It says Brew Barn. Probably a little early in the morning though, right? <laughs> We just bumped into Laurie, who mm -hmm. works here at the Red Apple Farm. Beautiful place. Thank you. And she just mentioned that they are members of Harvest House. Yes, we So are. where do you put the RVs, tell us? We've got a few spots that we've chosen. Um, on the other side of the hill here, we have an irrigation pond that's just beautiful. It's right in the middle of the orchard. And we send people over there. We've also got raspberries back here and uh, we can put people back there. We also have a, a parking lot on the other side of our animal pen here and people can park there. So That's we've got a few good spots and people love it here. Oh yes, Harvest House is a membership organization. It's a database that you can come with your RV dry camp, call yeah. ahead first to make sure for free. An exchange that, you know, you, you come and you purchase things at, the, at wherever you are. There are museums and Farms yes, and all yes. kinds of places for Harvest Hosts. You can check that out at harvesthosts.com. Summer and fall are perfect times to visit New England farms. Habanero garlic. <laughs> Sauces and dressings, berries, donuts, candles, jewelry, and more. Great fun. Don't be the bear, Sharon. One must come and visit Red Apple Farm in Phillipson, Mass. You can stay through our Harvest Host free dry camping night in a beautiful spot right here on the farm or the campground, Lamb City Campground right in Phillipson, Mass where we're staying. Lots of options, but what a nice way to spend some time. Next on our list, let's go find this giant chair. We're at 130 Elm Street in Gardner, Mass. About 20 minutes from the campground we're staying at. And this is the giant chair. It's a tribute to the furniture making ability of Gardner, Massachusetts. <laughs> Sharon's gotten up there a little bit. As uh, far as I can go. Okay, here we go. Uh, no. <laughs> On our list are waterfalls. Let's go check them out. 
Are you ready, Sharon? We are ready. All right, let's go. We're heading to the Dones Falls on Tule Lake in Athol, Massachusetts. This is a nice refreshing part of our day. A simple hike, beautiful weather, 45 minutes up and down. The day was wearing on and we were thinking about dinner plans. We hoped to find the winery that was on our list as well. So our next stop was an antique shop. And from there we go find the winery. We find antique stores so interesting. And often we have found that perfect object we were looking for that was just like grandma and grandpa's or some, some old part of our memory. The country bumpkin, which was close to our campground, was a very enjoyable place to browse. Next stop, that winery we found on the internet. Do you think we can find it? Nope, that winery was now a housing development. We did see a pretty unusual house number marker for that development. You never know what you're going to see when you're out there on the road, do you? Yeah, we didn't find any Cabernet coffee or red Zinfandel cherry, but it was still delicious. So there you have it. Put a pin on that map, less than a tank of gas away, do a quick Google review, find some spots to visit, and go enjoy a great weekend. When Bedford launched AquaChem, it didn't take long before it became the number one selling holding tank treatment for over 50 years. Until now. Meet Aquamax, Thetford's new generation of holding tank products that works even better and are also campground friendly and environmentally safe. Looks like a new number one is taking over. For more information, visit Thetford.com. Want more RVing today? Then visit RVingToday.tv. Besides our weekly show and extended segments, you'll find additional stories and videos along with insightful information on what's new and what's happening around the world in RVing. From luxury RVs to unique camper vans, and from RVing with pets to RVing with kids, you'll find it all and more in RVingToday.tv. even if you have an RV that you really love, that you've used for a long time, you may look around the interior eventually and say, you know, it's maybe time for an upgrade. Maybe that beige Herculon fabric has grown a little bit thin on you after a bit. Your needs may also have changed. For example, that freestanding table and four chairs may not be quite right for you anymore. You may be thinking more about a dinette that turns down into a bed so your grandkids can come along, for example. Well, fortunately, there's all kinds of furniture on the aftermarket. Well, our friends at RecPro, for example, offer all kinds of RV furniture available. They have different sizes, colors, shapes, styles, and so on. And there's all kinds of different dimensions available, so chances are you can find something that'll fit right into your vehicle. To get a feel for what's involved with an RV interior refit, we visited Dave and LJ's RV interior design in Woodland, Washington. There's a certain amount of expertise and technical aspect to this, of course, and Dave and LJ's has some pros that really know how to do the job. So let's pop on into the shop, take a look. All different sizes and RV classes receive the Dave and LJ's interior treatment. The showroom displays the company's custom cabinetry and furniture, such as desks, TV cabinets, and tables. Sofas, love seats, and special theater seating are also on view as inspiration for a customer's product. Custom cabinetry of all kinds is built in the Dave and LJ's woodshop, where skilled craftsmen produce furniture works of art. The stock furniture in the Project Motorhome wasn't worn out, but an upgrade will be a fun interior freshening. The shop crew unpacks and inspects the furniture for any shipping-related hiccups that must be taken care of. Final assembly takes place inside the RV. A heat gun works wonders to remove any wrinkles in the fabric. The old furniture is disassembled as much as practical for easier removal via the RV door. It can be a snug fit 
but the furniture probably came in through the door so it can also exit that way. No, you're good. Come on, use those man muscles. Wiring may need to be adjusted, relocated, or completely new depending on the project. Okay. Some Dave and LJ technicians really get into their work. When the fasteners are deep inside, you do what you gotta do. Many RVs use standard furniture sizes, and that helps fit the new seating in the existing spaces. The upholstered dinette parts are standard, but a custom sized table is required. So when we install this dinette, um, it comes in a certain length. To make a bed, you have two filler cushions. Um, we have to make the table at a certain dimension to go down and have the cushion fill that space correctly. The new sofa bed is sized to be a trim fit in the existing space in the slide out. This part is a fairly easy bolt-in operation. About an inch and a quarter from the cell on the wall. A power lead is installed for the new motorized theater seats. All pertinent electrical codes are followed during the wiring part of the project. Is it plugged in? Yeah. A pair of theater seat powered recliners replace the original love seat. This kind of fit also depends on enough back wall clearance near the valance. Yeah, we should, uh... How's that look coming up? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a whole house renovation, but even a few select pieces of new furniture can make a big difference inside your RV. We think it looks pretty darn good. Hey, a new RV interior may be just what you need to add that touch of finesse to your vehicle. From off-the-road adventure camping to luxurious full-time RVing and everything in between, Forest River has the RV to fit your needs, budget, and outdoor lifestyle. To see our full line of trailers and motorhomes, visit forestriverinc.com. Forest River. Begin the journey. At Norcole, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norcole refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norcole RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, Visit our website at norcole.com. Pause on Board is brought to you by Jones Natural Chews. Family owned and made in the USA. One reason RV travel is so popular is you can travel with your pets. Today I would like to offer some tips to help make RV travel with pets as comfortable as possible for both you and your pets. When we make campground reservations, we always check to see if it's a pet-friendly campground. Or you can call the campground in advance to check the pet policy prior to making campground reservations. Inquire if the breed or breeds of dogs you have are allowed. It is unfortunate, but some destinations or campgrounds you plan to visit have breed-specific legislation that bans particular breeds of dogs. Always keep in mind RVs can get extremely hot or cold inside depending on the outside temperature. Always make sure there is some type of ventilation and heat or air available when pets are left in the RV. Never leave your pets in the RV for long periods of time without checking on them periodically. Always have fresh drinking water available for your pets. 
You never know the quality of the drinking water when you travel, so it's a good idea to take a container of water from your home that the pets are accustomed to, or use bottled water. Stock up on the brand of pet food your pet is accustomed to for the duration of your trip. Pets should always travel in a pet carrier or crate for personal safety. Update all vaccinations prior to leaving on your trip and take a proof of rabies vaccination. For extended RV trips, have your pets examined prior to leaving on your trip. Get a current health certificate from your veterinarian before traveling and take the pet's medical records with you. It's a good idea to have photographs of your pets in the event they get lost or separated from you. Take flea, tick, and heartworm medications if you'll be on extended RV trips. Add your veterinarian's regular phone number and emergency phone number to your contacts list. Get the phone number for a local veterinarian when you arrive at your destination. Your pet's collar should include identification along with basic information such as your name, address, and phone number or email address. Microchip your pets so people know how to contact you in the event your pets get lost. Take a harness, tie-out anchor, and leash or chain. Give your pets plenty of room to move, but be cautious of traffic and obstacles they could get hung or caught on. Another option is to use portable exercise pens. Make sure your pets have shade when outside and never leave your pets unattended. Always pick up after your pets and follow any rules the campground has for pet owners. Lots of pet owners enjoy taking their pets into local establishments like restaurants. You should call ahead and ask if pets are permitted and there are good resources online that you can research. Traveling with pets can be fun if you're prepared. This list doesn't cover all the information and concerns involved with traveling with your pets, but it sure is a good start. Want more RVing today? Then visit RVingToday.tv. Besides our weekly show and extended segments, you'll find additional stories and videos along with insightful information on what's new and what's happening around the world in RVing. From luxury RVs to unique camper vans, and from RVing with pets to RVing with kids, you'll find it all and more in RVingToday.tv. When Bedford launched AquaChem, it didn't take long before it became the number one selling holding tank treatment for over 50 years. Until now. Meet Aquamax, Thetford's new generation of holding tank products that works even better and are also campground friendly and environmentally safe. Looks like a new number one is taking over. For more information, visit Thetford.com. Joining us today is our associate Chris Hemer from uh, RV Enthusiast Magazine. Yep. And Chris is a an enthusiastic cook. Today we're here at the Adventure Van Expo in Hood River, Oregon. And the Adventure Vans are more or less class B van camper motorhomes that are set up for off-road or backcountry or a lot of uh, dry camping use. Mm -hmm. And that means they've got to take everything with them. Yep. And that means they're going to have some very interesting kitchen gadgets. Yep, compact and useful. So sometimes they'll have several uses in one item. So a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, so we're going to take a look around and Chris is going to see if he can pick out some of the really interesting uh, new devices, new arrangements for kitchens and so on. Mm -hmm. So let's go around and take a look. Let's do it. Everybody likes coffee and uh, a lot of people like French presses, right? People exactly. that are uh, coffee enthusiasts usually prefer a French press, right? So you have something kind of interesting here. It's a, uh, looks like a rugged, portable French press. Exactly. That's a great description for our, our brew check. And this is our most recent edition called the Overlander. Okay. This specific model. We have other French press models as well. Mm -hmm. But really, this is a great, a great all-purpose French press for both single serve as well as multi serve. It comes in about okay. in 24 ounce container. Mm -hmm. And you have a locking top there, don't a you? A locking top, so you can actually drink directly from it. And oh, make sure okay. It's spill proof as well. Okay. Or you can go ahead and just pour it into a, a, a mug. Okay. If you'd like. And you got the, the plunger inside like a normal French press? Exactly. I'll just show you real quick. This yeah. is just a standard French press, but we do have one added okay. feature. Yeah. In our mechanism, we add a, a metal plate here called the brew stop, which basically oh, okay. after you press 
the the uh, the French press unit down, mm -hmm. the, the the metal plate then rests and resides and basically creates a barrier to prevent any further brewing. So oh, that we're not okay. Over brewing and creating okay. a bitter cup of coffee. Right. So and, and you, it just keeps all the grounds out from floating into your coffee. Right. And then you, there's a compartment under here too. What does that do? Yes. Good question. This compartment <laughs> is very unique. All right. It is uh, one of the only products out there in the French press market that has a removable bottom. Oh, okay. So you tell me, usually we hear, you know, we hate to clean a French press. What do we press. do with the grounds? That's right. But right. the grounds are in this little <laughs> container after it's all pressed and after you're done drinking or pouring your coffee out. And you'll have a little fluid left in here, but you can slosh it around and just dump it out into Great. your compost or into your garbage as and normally. But this is one of the unique features of this specific model. And what's Overlander. that product called? The Overlander. The Overlander by Brutrek. That's, right. That's right. Okay. And so now we're at the Storyteller Overland display. And with me now is Overland Jones. That's right. We're so excited to be here. ROTV is here inside of our van. This is awesome. Chris, mm -hmm. check this out. Look in that top drawer. You're going to be amazed at what, what this is, okay? Okay. Boom. We have... Freedom of functionality with an induction cooktop, okay? Mm. Now you can move your cooktop, your cooking surface, anywhere that you want to, anywhere mm -hmm. inside the van. Look you're this. saying this has turned into a workbench from a bed. Normally this is a bed, but I have the cushions taken off, mm -hmm. and this is on the workbench side, so you just simply take it and you plug it in right over here, okay? And now you can use induction cooktop pans, mm -hmm. or you can use cast iron pans, which I love cooking my steaks in. Sure, so sure. You, I like putting it over here. You have all this countertop space. My wife sits over there. She has a glass of wine. Again, she looks at me like she likes me, which is nice, <laughs> right? That's incredible. Yeah, we all like that. And it's all done inside of a storyteller. Mm-hmm. Great. We're with Dwayne at Spencer Aircraft. And Dwayne, it looks like you got a kind of a unique take on a portable table. Yeah, we what's actually, that about? We actually, this is our first year here. We sell a lot right. of lightweight foldable stuff that crosses over. This is our table. Mm -hmm. It can be adjusted from this level to this level down, anywhere in between. Mm -hmm. It holds up 300 pounds on the table. Wow. It's very strong. Mm -hmm. It folds up very small into this package right here. <clears throat> so it's lightweight, folds up small. So these are like quick. sections. There you go. Yeah, just okay. like accordion. Oh, all you right. You can use it for a, a barbecue or whatever, or it can go down to a coffee table for your cocktail hour and or dirt. How high does it go from This here? is the highest it goes right here, so mm -hmm. it goes up to, you know, about... Like hip height, feet or mm -hmm. stuff like that. so it's about right size for a yeah, for it's a, perfect for grilling. For stuff, you know, right? All the yeah. way down to how high would you say? Um, it goes from th from this level here. Hmm. Okay. Any, anywhere in between you can. So it really is like yeah. a coffee table height. Yeah, anywhere in between you can go, so you don't have to stick to one level. Great. If the ground on level, you can actually get one leg longer to keep it the table level also too. So is this all aluminum or is it aluminum? It's aluminum and plastic, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So and we've been selling these for like probably eight years now. Oh, all right. And pretty lightweight. What's uh, what would you say? I, it weighs? I think these are like ten pounds total weight underneath. So space inside of an RV, especially a camper or a van, is always at a premium when you have things like cooking utensils, spices, and that sort of thing. And we came across Overland Gear Guy, who has a few solutions to that. We do. Um, you know, we've been manufacturing for 30 years, all in the USA. Um, currently, we're in Salt Lake. Been there for uh, since uh, 2005. Okay. And um, stuff. But what have we got here? Um, so we we got some different ones. Some. Space is at a premium, so, yeah. so we've got some that are vertical, some that are that are horizontal shape. Oh, okay. um, we got some much larger ones down here, and 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 we've done much smaller ones and stuff. So it's kind of based on what the customers' needs are and stuff. And and uh, how do they typically mount? Um, a lot of them just hook on with with carabiners like this. Uh -huh. um, this one, I believe, yeah, this one has Velcro. So this is kind of like the the yeah, campers with carpet in them. So oh. this will just Velcro right to the. Oh, that's so, perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, and if they don't want to do that, they can carabine it with a with okay. a clip. With and a these clip. are made of nylon. Is yep, Cordura, like a Cordura, Cordura. nylon or polyester. Okay, so very strong. Yep. And this was your original product, you had said. Yeah, exactly. So a guy says, hey. This is exactly the space I have on my uh, Overland trailer, uh -huh. and, and he sent me all of his utensils. He says, "See what you can do." So I made it. He loved it, and and a couple other people asked for it, and then people's like, "Oh my goodness, that's just huge!" You know, we've got it this looks small like it'll hold space. a lot of stuff. So that's when we started coming up with you know the smaller ones. And you've got obviously these are for these tall utensils. Yep. What have we got for here? Um, just you know, like the uh, the plastic uh, you know silverware, the uh, the napkins, okay. the little ketchup packets, gotcha. stuff like that. Gotcha. And then behind here, there's there's additional. That's great. Where, pe where can people find your product? So overlandgearguy.com okay. and uh, all our social media platforms are, are the same. So okay, great. Find us there. Thanks for the demo. All right, thank you. Nice talking to you. So there you have it. Just a few of the cleverly engineered products for storage and cooking at the Adventure Van Expo. Right, Bones?
for more information on anything you saw in this week's episode, along with additional videos, interesting stories, and RV news, visit our website at rvingtoday.tv. This has been another fun production.